Alrighty then, everything should be recording properly. Hopefully the audio is good. Hopefully everything runs smoothly. Um, I'm just gonna jump into it because I want to try to get as much progress done as possible. So anyways, hello everyone. Welcome finally back to Until Then. Uh, it's been a hot minute since I last played this, but I'm back. I'm hopefully I'm able to get at least a little bit more progress done. I don't know how close I am to the end of the game. Um, I think I'm about halfway there. Um, ish, give or take. Um, but I want to try to get closer to the end of this because I want to see what the ending has in store for me. Um, last time we left off, we started to bond with Nicole. I believe that's what her name was. I don't remember at this point. Um, who, after we uh, made a first bad, Im a bad first impression. Um, and we're starting to bond with her and it seems like we're starting to develop more of a romantic side of a relationship but I'm not entirely sure about that so bear with me and we'll go from there so I'm not good with intros so let's just jump into it hmm she's not here yet hey pss. Is that him? The guy you were talking about? Really, bro? He's way out of his league. I just want to be a potato. Same. Dude, no, it's 2i plus 3. <laughs> no. It's 3 plus 2i. The real part goes first, remember? But 2i looks just as real to me. Why is it even imaginary? I don't get it. That's the point. Hey, dude. There you are. Come here. Oh. Hey, Mark. Sorry, man. She's right. The real part goes first. Aww. Look who's got the real answer now. Doesn't matter, dude. Just want to play ball after this shit. Come on, Mark. We know why you're here. Take your notebook out and... Wait a second. Uh, I already finished that yesterday. Whoa, that's... Oh, Ryan. Don't you worry. I assure you, he's still the airhead I know. Just with less air. Huh, like a chip bag. Anyway, Mark. Did you find the answer to number five? Yeah. I think it's... 5 plus 6i? You're... I... I can't believe it. H how? Oh no. Look at him. Cool as a cucumber. At this time of day. He's sh... Ahem. Excuse me, Ryan. If you weren't busy balling all day, and actually attended classes, this wouldn't come as a surprise. All his life, dude. That's what I get for bringing pride to our school. Less classes. Sure. So what exactly are you doing here? Oh my gosh. For reals? Right? How'd the new girl even find this guy? Now she won't, like, get to steal our boys for prom. Not that she had a chance, lol. Who says lol out loud like that? Dude, it's cool, guys. Let's just ignore it. Because it's true, right? I mean, it must be. Well, you know me. I'm quite the ladies' man. Ha, <laughs> I mean, you're glowing. You're making more use of your brain. She's inspiring you, isn't she? He's an inspirational friend indeed. Is that why you were always at the piano club after classes? I'm hard at work practicing. 
And really, she's just my mentor. Mentor, uh-huh. Mentor of, oh, how would you shut up? Look, man, imagine it's game seven of the finals. Seconds winding down. Ball is in your hands. You're down two points. Do you go for the win? Or do you settle for the tie? Depends on how many games we're ahead. What, are you, what the hell are you talking about? Shoot your shot, Mark. Shoot your shot. All right now, Ryan. Enough with the metaphors. So, uh, if it isn't homework, what brings you here, man? I'm meeting with, uh, Luis. About Christmas party stuff. Oh wait, I remember. I saw you with the new girl at the fair together. Alone together. Yeah, but I just bumped into her. A lot must have happened since then. It's been a month. Hold on. Didn't I see you with Kat that day? Where'd you go? Ryan, focus. I mean, we gotta pass this homework now. Yeah, yeah. Yeesh. What's number five again? Wasn't it five plus six I? Got it. Ryan, bro. Ready to ball? Woo! You know I am. And he's out of here. He didn't even ask for the solution. He won't get three points for that. Ha 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 ha. He's got varsity privileges. He, so he's not as stupid as you say after all. Aren't you gonna pass that too? Oh. I can take my time. Looking for something else? Louise said she'd be here by now. Christmas party stuff, huh? Yeah. But I think it's just gonna be the same games as last year. Yep, I sure hope so. Calaman Calamansi on a spoon is always a fun time. Yeah. Who would want to change any of it? Not me. Really? Uh, are we still talking about games? Y yeah. So, gotta dress for prom yet? Sure, it's like two months away, but our classmates sure are excited. Got stuck in a problem? Mark, you are asking the wrong question. You should be asking if... I have a girl date. That's not a problem. What do you mean? You still got jet... Go on. I dare you. And what about you? Got a suit? Nope. Thought maybe you want to shop sometime. Oh, haha. <laughs> that's a generous offer. Sure, let's go sometime. But I meant, have you asked her to prom? Oh, not yet. I mean, sh should I? Uh-huh. Of course. As expected of Mark. Do you think she'd say yes? Well, whatever you say or do, Insult incoming. Good luck. I just like the shake of the head. Oh, that face. You underestimate your friend. Wh what? Hi, Prez. Oh, hi, Catherine. Love the sound of that.
Uh, Paige. Just finished your homework? I finished it yesterday. Oh. That's great, Mark. So, what's the big news? I'm making progress. But I need to double check on what you saw. Didn't you take note of that? I did. But I need to verify again and again. To leave no room for doubt. I see. I'm aware it's been almost a month. But whatever you end up remembering now, it'll be important. Where do I start? Wherever you... Looky, looky. Ooh, looks juicy. Wh wherever you want. All right. When I took the elevator from the cafeteria, everyone just disappeared. I was hearing these strange sounds. Probably lightning. And what did you see? What did I see? I don't even remember at this point. An office space. Something like a call center in the hallway. And then... There were clocks on the walls. Like a hotel lobby. And then what happened? Suddenly everything was vandalized? Alright. And I was... I swear, like... If her boyfriend were my boyfriend, I wouldn't even think about talking to, like, other guys. Well, well. It seems this perfect isn't so perfect after all. I don't even know that guy. Hey, don't mind them. Just your typical school gossips. No, fo focus, Mark. I need this observation of your memories to be intact. Are you sure you don't want to talk elsewhere? Intact. Okay. I really find it weird when it was only the elevator not changing much. But then? But then, yeah. It broke at one point. Do you still remember how long that took? I, I don't know. It could have gone on for hours, but it might have also been just minutes. So you're sure that, that your perception of time was? Ooh, he even wanted to take it elsewhere. I wonder what dear Mike would say. I don't think I have to work today. I'm just gonna double check, give me one second. Doesn't say I have a shift today, but I'm not entirely sure. It's Labor Day as I'm recording this. I don't know. Hey, don't mind. Shush. I think she can hear us. So what? She was better off as a nerdy teacher's pet than cheating on her boyfriend with some loser. Did she do that? She's gone. Girl, no. Too far. Lol, you would have, like, said the same thing if she weren't around. And your mouths are better off shut. What the heck was that achievement for? Stand up to gossip girls. Whatever, Prince Charming. Sorry. The achievements don't pop up um, on the screen. Hey, I... I was say, I can't move. Hey. Louise? Sorry. I heard what you said back there. Thank you, Mark. You didn't have to. Don't mention it. Do you know them? What's their problem, anyway? 
No, I don't know them. Please. Let me collect my thoughts for a minute. Then we'll continue. Oh. Sure. Hmm. Maybe I can find something that'll cheer her up around here. Okay. She really is impressive. Louise won't mind, won't mind if I take some of these. I guess she already knows all this. I wonder if there's another achievement tied to this. Doesn't seem like there is. I wonder when we'll actually use this. This thing is just good for pictures on the school's socials. Bet Luis knows about it though. Hey, does this thing really work? The fume hood? Sort of. It drains the toxicities out. But it can't do that quite well. Old equipment. Possibly even though they still clean it. Huh, for publicity of course. won some of those, right? What's that? Those trophies. Oh, yeah. Science quiz bees. As expected of our president. Planning on bringing home the bacon again this year? Haha, <laughs> I guess. It's yours for sure. Th thanks. Meanwhile, all I have are in-game trophies. Same. That's actually not true. I did get a trophy at one point. Interesting. We studied the ones on the left. What are these on the right, though? Hey, I'm just curious. Yes? What are these arrows and squigglies? Oh, that's mine. I'll make sure to erase that later. Uh, okay. Not the answer I was looking for, but I don't know if I should push her for it right now. Hey, a strong sticker. A stronger? This doesn't look quite like homework. Impossible. No. Maybe? Let's put these arrows and squigglies. Oh, that's mine. Don't touch it. What are these anyway? It's hard to explain. It's college level math. Wow, college math? Dang, you really something. How do you know all of this? Students there wish they had the same level of smarts. That's why we look up to you. You're like the perfect student. A teacher's pet, you mean? What? Sorry. How long did you experience those visions again? Um, unclear. I told you. My perception of time seemed faulty. Okay, okay. Give me one more minute. You sure you're okay? Yeah, just... Just give me a minute. It's kind of sad. You get to enter this lab only a few times. But if you're a trusted and respectable class president, you get access to most of the school. The world's your oyster. You come here a lot, right? Uh, yes. I prefer this to the library. Especially if I need to be alone and clear my mind. It's much more peaceful here after all. Less people. Library's no good. Yeah, peaceful. 
That's good. I'm glad she feels at home around here. I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job of cheering her up, though. Aw, oh, that's sweet of her. Didn't think she'd keep pe pictures. Can I not take the picture? That's big brain territory. Okay, living in black something. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Um, there's only one more thing to interact with, and it's on the table in front of her. Unless there was something to do with this. Doesn't seem like there's anything. Maybe I messed up by taking the, the pins away. So this is yours? Oh yeah. I leave it here sometimes since no one else comes in. Didn't know you were a stickers girl. Ah, there's Sophia's. She insisted. Of course she did. It looks really nice. It suits you too. Yeah, I think it does too. Oh, one more sticker at the back. Another strong sticker. She must have gotten these from her boyfriend. How's it going with Mike? It's, it's good. He's great. That's good. Yeah. It's really new. I'm happy for you, Luis. I think that helped. Well, I'm out of things to look at, so... I... I was... I thought I had it, but... But... But since your perception of time was compromised, which is one detail I overlooked. I think it's very likely that it was a prolonged hallucination. But, but why? As much as I hate to say this, there's simply no other reasonable explanation. I've gone through almost everything, and the only logical conclusion is, still, it's in the mind. Are you saying I should get checked? What about you? No, it's normal. Deja vu naturally happens. We don't need to worry. But what was that new hypothesis you were talking about? It, it's no use now. It's crazy anyway. I want to hear it. It's just that the other... The only other is strange unexplained event. Never mind. It sounds crazy even to me. What does? Mark, forget it. It's beyond logic. And I fear that people would think we're out of our minds. Who cares? I care. And that's why I don't want to go in that direction. Are you sure? Yes. Don't sound sure. Mark, I'm sure. It doesn't make sense. But what if you're right? But what if I'm not? That's, that's okay. No, it's not that simple. Oh. I'm sorry. I'll drop it. No, no, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get heated again. This must be stressful for you too. I should have thought of that. It's okay. So, you're sure, right? It's all in our heads then? There's 
no other way around it. We can keep refuting it, but we'll just go around in circles. I'm afraid that's all I have. Nothing else makes sense. It's gotta be the only sane answer. Okay. Thank you so much, Louise. I'm sorry, Mark. I tried. No, don't don't apologize. I mean it. I I didn't mean to disappoint. I I can keep looking into it if you want. Hey, there's no need. We'll just go back to square one, right? You know about this more than I do, after all. Mark, I'm not... It's not like... No, really. I should be the one saying sorry, you know. For pushing you. I just wanted to believe. But if... It's a product of our troubled mind, then it is what it is. I really am sorry, Mark. Thank you, Louise, really, for researching all this, for making time. I know you must be busy. Of course. You too. You came from Piano Club, right? Yeah. I've been working real hard. Gotta say, my mentor is really tough, and... Uh, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Damn, how could I forget? I forgot to tell you one thing. Go ahead. You know Nicole, right? My mentor? Yes. When I saw her for the first time, it felt like... Like you'd known her before? Exactly. Wait, how did you... No. No, it can't be. What? It's insane, but... I might be right after all. About your new theory? That's just a theory. If you feel like, like you remember her, then it must be. Ugh, but it's crazy. Indeed. It's crazy, but it might be right. It might be right. So what now? going in the afternoon though it pays to be prepared young man meet you at the mall at 4 p.m. so it's not too hot out yes ma'am I won't be late that's for sure see ya just got here you in front of the Fida right the Fida a thrift heater. Hmm. That must be over there to the right, if I'm right. What's off to the left is my question. No, I don't feel that like this is the right way. I know thrift feeder is the other way around. Thanks, Mom. What did we learn? Not let Issa play. Dad's not coming back. Oh well, right way or not, might as well take a stroll. I'm just, I'm just exploring. Time dome is closed, apparently. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's anything to explore here. I don't think there's a run button either. Or like a sprint button. Remember, hon, 
You're buying for three now. I won't let, won't let me forget. It was just said you don't want Ingram. Should I get a Mad Burger? There we go. Hey! Ho ho! Look who isn't late! Ho ho! It just lands her all over again. Just. We have the fun ass game! I told you so. Good. Because it should be a gold mine in there. I it took me a second to find the voice. Does that mean you've already found yourself an outfit? Nope, but it looks promising from here. Let's get to it. I wonder if Nicole would like any of these. Kathy did say I should ask her to prom. That's horrible. Don't, don't take that. It's hideous, exactly. I love it, Oh, It's the hottest 70s time traveler. I'll be the hottest 70s time traveler around. Wrong era, unfortunately. Try something a little more ancient Greek. I don't suppose they sell any togas around here. You never know. Though maybe. We should just show up in blankets and call it a day. Think you can pull it off? I'll have you know I make the most gorgeous blanket burrito. I don't doubt it. You better not. Seem like there's anything else to look at. What do you think? Hmm, very nice. Even you might actually look like a goddess in that. Wow, a rare compliment. Almost. I'll go try it on. I gotta find a suit for myself, right? Oh, no, go back the other way. Stop. There we go. Hmm, this could work. Guess I'll go try it on. to a wedding a couple months ago and it was bad. Um, okay. I'm just looking for something to wear for prom. I know, I know. I'm not... I won't be home too late, I promise. Just let me... Please, we're... Yes, I know the budget. I know. Who goes there? You look like Jesus. Hmm. You may be right. It wasn't exactly from ancient Greece. Uh, is everything okay, Kath? Don't need to go home yet, do you? Nope. We've still got time. But wait. Are you really going as Jesus? You're right. She might regret saying yes to this. What about you? Didn't like the dress? Hmm, it was gorgeous, but... Maybe something long-sleeved. Alright. Guess we better keep looking. Oh, 
Oh, she just teleported. Any luck over here? Only for that time traveler from the 70s. You could be the god of time. I don't think you particularly enjoy the disco era. Well, suit yourself. Okay, gotta keep looking around. Okay, there's gotta be something else to look at. Doesn't look very ancient Greek to me. The theme probably doesn't matter anyway. We could really, we really could just dress as burritos. And they can't complain because we paid them in theory. Hmm, this dress is really nice, but maybe a bit too short for me. Well, suit yourself too. This is a dress. Ha. Huh. Well, I'm out of options. Are you having a better time than me? Lots of pretty dresses around here, but I don't know, man. I can't seem to find one that works. And you? Nothing's caught your eye at all? I'm not sure I'm really feeling this Greek thing. Yeah, I don't think they had a god of stupid. They probably did, actually. Then you can just go as yourself. You wound me. Hey, come on. Let's keep looking. There's gotta be something. There. Just gotta wait for her to come along. No, it, it can't be. It's perfect. But it's just a suit. It ju isn't just any suit. Look! Greek ink. You've got to be kidding me. I think I found the one, Kath. This is the cheat of all cheats. It is, isn't it perfect? You know what? I suppose it is. I did tell you to go as yourself after all. But I wonder if, if Nicole would like this. Uh, what about you? Any luck yet? Ugh. Most of the dresses aren't long-sleeved. Does it have to be? I just, uh, want to be one of those goddesses. Goddesses. A goddess with billowing, gorgeous sleeves. So powerful, you know? Right. Let's keep looking, then. I think we've exhausted all they have to offer. Ugh, this is harder than I thought. Actually, I like one of the suits, but eh, maybe next time. Don't tell me it's what I think it is. Come on, let's look elsewhere. My dress has, to gotta, has got to be here somewhere. Or is he angry? He's a capitalist. Do you want to go in? I think that's a little bit over budget. Honestly, I think it's a lot a bit over budget. Ugh, this is impossible. Maybe there are other stores around. 
It's probably just as expensive though. We can go back to Fifteeta. The clothes aren't going to magically be different when we get there. Come on, I'm not giving up yet. Ooh, crafts. Okay, uh, maybe you can make a dress. A wonderful idea from the God of Stupid. No, I was just thinking of learning how to, I don't know, scrapbook, make collages and stuff. Oh, what for? Just to pass the time. You know, pick up something new. Have something to do. Plus, I can put all the photos Rido took of us three. As if he, as if he'd let you cut up his photos like that. Oh, remember when he lost it because we accidentally spilled some of his oh so precious coffee? How could I forget? He was so mad. I thought he'd never let us touch his stuff again. That's a resident hipster for you. It was pretty good coffee though. You're right though. I wouldn't want to mess with his photos. And I'm not really much of an artist. Maybe something else. Or, oh, like what? Let's walk around and see. Over there. I like her jaunty, like, skip. Aha! Coming over to the dark side, are you? I knew spending all that time with the piano club would entice you. Nuh-uh. Piano's cool and all, but if it's not really my type of instrument, you know? Still plan on serenading someone? Don't you dare say it. Annoying spam calls, am I right? True. Write music, of course. Maybe I could get Nicole something to encourage her for an audition day. Say, what do you think of this guitar? Do you think it'll suit me? Definitely not a new instrument, but maybe. New sheet music, new books for our com compositions. I wonder. Hey! Hmm? Are you okay, man? You're kind of spacing out. Sorry, just thinking. About her? What, what, what were you saying? Alright, Mr. Change the Subject. I said, check out this guitar. Maybe we can jam. So I'm the keyboardist and you're on the guitar? Hmm, why not? That'd actually be pretty cool. We could start a band. We put Rido's obscure music taste to shame. We could form a cool trio. But first, we should have a strange yet charming band name. Hmm. Think of wyverns. Antarctic games. One trajectory. Pencil heads. Best friends forever. Rido would hate us. He'd probably say we're sellouts. He'd take really cool photos of us though. At our gigs. At our gigs in your room you mean. He still make it look cool. Man, I haven't found anything yet. At least I found something, sort of. You're right. I don't know about the guitar though. It's just not me, I guess. And we might all be a little too pretentious then. Huh? I meant for prom. Oh, right. Come on then. If anyone avoided me, I just want to sell phones. Huh, don't we need tokens for this? Looks like it's free to play. For some reason, I guess we can give it a go while no one's watching. Attaboy. Okay, how does this work? Ah, I didn't realize. 
besides the blue ones. I don't understand why this isn't working. In the end, you still lost. No. Oh. Wait. Oh no. No way this place is shutting down. Rip in peace. We used to have so much fun around here. At least I'll go down in history as King of Gold Rush. You wish. What a bummer though. Yeah, I can't believe it. It's really gone. I guess people don't come here anymore. Goodbye, Arcade. You were a lot of fun. But I guess your time has come. Thank you for your service. You will be missed dearly. Damn. Look, a new store. Flower power. Ta-da! What do you think? I don't see any dresses here. That can wait, man. Let's go in. I was thinking I'd check out some basic baking sets. I never knew you were into baking. Well, not yet, but who knows? That's it, maybe something simple. Maybe she likes some cookies. That's a simple gift, right? Not too serious or anything. Hello, would you like to buy some cookies? Uh, I think so. For a gift? Perfect. We've got heart-shaped cookies for that special someone. Oh no, it's not like that. Got someone in mind, sir? I'm not sure. You're in luck, sir. You can never be unsure with any of our three offerings. Am I going to get a choice? Please, have a closer look. You have your regular good old circle cookies. For your beloved, we've got heart-shaped cookies. And for a limited time only, we're selling cute smiley cookies. But I guarantee you, all of them are scrumptiously good. Interesting. Take your time, sir. Um, well, you can always go with the classic. I don't know how she would feel about the heart-shaped ones, and I don't know if the Christmas ones are a good idea because I don't know if she even celebrates Christmas, and I don't know if it's like, I have a feeling that if I went with it, it would be like kind of traumatic, but I don't know. Um, I might as well go with the first option that I was given. Hearts, I'm not so sure. If you got that special someone in mind, these heart-shaped cookies will definitely get rid of any uncertainty. Hold on, the heart cookies might be a bit too much. What if she laughs in my face? Am I really sure about this? Yes. Oh well, whatever. Let's go with that one. Alright, ma'am. I'll take one box of heart-shaped cookies. Here you go, sir. Have a look first. Hold on. Lover boy. That's the achievement name. What do you think? I like the packaging, I guess. Oh, I should probably bring this back up. There we go. Yeah, I'll take this one. Ooh, good idea. I'll, I'm getting a little hungry. Oh, um, these are for Nicole. Ho oh, ho, look at you. Is this for your promposal then? It's not that. Good for you, man. Didn't I tell you? You did know the answer after all. I'll call, I call dibs for taste testing your cookies though. Uh huh, Mr. Change the subject. I promise I'll make the best mediocre cookies around. Excuse me, is this all you're getting? 
Yep. Let me ring you guys up. Are you two going to see the fireworks? Fireworks? That's right. There's going to be a Christmas fireworks display. It's at the city plaza in about 30 minutes. You two could enjoy your cookies over there. Mark, a fireworks show. We have to see it, please. Please, please, please. Uh, are you sure? You're not needed back at home yet? We stayed out later than we thought. Oh, you. Come on, it's fine. Unless you have a date. Hey, no, I don't. It's settled then. It's like the stars align for this moment. You're, you're right. Yes. Come on, let's go find a good view. Let's get out of here. It's starting soon. Do you have anything that says, I'm sorry I forgot your birthday again? Nope. Where are you going? The nearest exit's just over there. I prefer the main exit. God, I'm stupid, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, fine, let's go the other way then. I didn't realize going to the right was an exit. Something wrong with that plan? It's giving me bad vibes. I'm never using an elevator again. I wonder if going over to the left would give you a secret or something. Man, look at that view. This is perfect. Nothing beats a good fireworks show. Yeah, just forgetting your worries for a moment and admiring the colors. Fleeting bursts of light in the dark. But somehow it's enough to make everything a little brighter. That was beautiful, man. Didn't know you had it in ya. Oh, shut up. Even Ryder would be impressed with that poetry. You started it. Fleeting bursts of light and all that. I missed Ryder. Yeah. He's doing great for himself. I'm happy for him. He's really thriving, huh? I wonder if they want to grow up as fast as we did. Man, taking it all for granted, huh? They should cherish it while it lasts. All the free time in the world. Time to play together. Not worrying about big things. Not worrying about what comes next. Not worrying about failing art class. Not worrying about falling in love. Hey. What a year, huh? It's almost over and all sorts of crazy stuff happened. Vito getting his big break. You and Nicole. It, it hasn't been so bad, right? Yeah. Just crazy. What's going on here? Is that kind of like looking around? What's the significant? significance of the boy. Ah, there you are. 
Sorry, Ro sorry. Were you waiting long? It took me a second to figure out what that was saying. The twins' parents didn't stay with you? No, not long. She probably thought you were close by. Tis next time. Ask her to stay with you, okay? The kids should never be without a caring grown-up around. But I'm a big boy now. I know, I know. But I love you, Anne. I want you to be safe, okay? Okay, Mom. I love you too. Andrew. Good PM. Are you Mark? I'm sorry for the abrupt message, but I saw you and Kathy's friend last. She hasn't been replying and we're worried something happened to her. Do you know where she is? We'd be glad to know if she's alright. Our mom's really worried. Thank you. Oh, Kath. Your brother's looking for you. Wh what? Don't reply. What? Why not? He sounds worried about you and your mom, too. I mean, I just don't want to go home yet. <laughs> Maybe if we just let him know, you'll be back after the fireworks. Just so they don't worry, you know. I, I don't know. But right, I guess that sounds good. Gonna have to ignore it. You sure it'll be okay? Yeah. It'll be okay. Sorry, what were you saying? Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> Just, you know, this year's been crazy. Oh, that reminds me. Can I ask you a crazy question? Yeah, shoot, man. Lately, have you... Have you had any weird memories? Or anything like that? Hmm, weird memories. Like deja vu? Yeah, exactly like that. Well, I guess... I guess I get weird feelings sometimes. Sometimes prolonged. Like something's gonna happen. But I don't know. Why do you ask, anyway? Oh, it's nothing. Just... It's helping Louise with a theory or something. Sounds like big stuff, man. Yeah, totally. Science-y stuff. I guess things have a bit been a little hectic lately for me. I mean, I've been... I mean, I've been pretty... Pretty busy. So I thought maybe I've just been tired. It's always those exams before the Christmas break, eh? Yep. You know it. sudden. But what about the fireworks show? We must be canceling it. No. We were supposed to be perfect. for you to steal over here. Ha! I'm a changed man. I'm sorry we couldn't find a dress for you. No worries. There are more important things. Are your parents coming home this Christmas? No. They probably send over some Christmas money though. They always do. But they're they're doing alright. Dad sent me photos a while back. 
And mom's out there. You know, busy as always. Your parents work really hard, huh? I wouldn't have I wouldn't have a a better life if it weren't for them. Yeah. That's good. How's your family? Oh, you know. Same old, same old. <laughs> I don't see them often, do I? That's alright. They like to be busy too. Besides, you know they're not really people persons. Yeah. Ho oh, ho. For it is I. For it is only I who can engage with society. Listen, I, I know you've been pretty busy. We both have, but... You know, you've still got me. We've got each other. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry Fiona's been taking up so much of my time. Don't apologize, man. Just promise me you'll get really good at it, okay? That's what I want. Believe me, I'm trying. You must even be busy practicing at home every night. Practice makes perfect, after all. The man doesn't feel so rewarding. You know, I couldn't get the proper hand posture at first. Uh-huh. But when I got the hang of it, my playing just got magically got just magically got better. It almost feels like cheating. That sounds fun. How that must have felt. It is fun. It's so satisfying. I, I had a lot of fun today, Mark. Me too, Cat. And I promise, I'll have more time after our audition day. You're gonna blow everyone away. <laughs> Probably except for Carlo. I'll be cheering you on in the audience. Just don't bring pom-poms. Or at least don't if Carlo's there. I'm really glad I get to see you like this, you know. Like what? Happy. Catherine. There you are. I tried contacting both of you and you ignored me. You're lucky I thought to check them all and saw you here. You were supposed to be home hours ago. Cat? It's alright. It's just my brother. You're the one who's been keeping her out all this time. And in the rain, too. I... No. It's not his fault. My phone must have been on silent. Why would you put it on silent? You know how mom and dad would get. Sorry. It's cool, Mark. I'll see you, okay? Like hell you will. How many times do I have to tell you? Thanks for today, Mark. Take care on the way home. Wait. I forgot your cookie cutter. Hey Louise, something came up. Hey, have you talked to anyone recently? I was with Cap today. Did you ask about it? A little. She said she's been having some deja vu. But I'm not sure if it's exactly the same. I knew it. It doesn't matter if it's exactly the same in this case. Either way, this brings up a step this brings us a step closer to my working hypothesis. What's next? Or who's next? Going to like these? Oh man, I knew I should have gone with the other ones. 
These are too cheesy. This is dumb. I'm dumb. Should I even be asking her to prom? What if she thinks I'm joking? She's definitely going to think I'm joking. Man, maybe we can go as friends. Uh, no, I'm being stupid. I can do this. We've been having fun together. We've been bonding. Oh man, I sound so lame, but we've been getting closer. She likes my company, right? She likes me. Dashing through the snow on a one horse open sleigh. Christmas carolers. Merry Christmas, sir. Merry Christmas. There's a cat in the background. Uh, aren't they supposed to sing? That's a very ex extravagant uh, Christmas display. I gotta make this place a little more festive. Thought this whole thing wouldn't work. But there, that's. But there, that's a little better. At least the house won't look as empty anymore. Now we wait by the gate. Okay. okay doesn't seem like there's anything over there. The end is near. I was never too good at keeping these plants alive. Sorry, Jade. Here they come. All right, on three. One, two, three. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. It's the middle. It's, it's the beginning of September. It's already Christmas season. That was great. Thank you, sir. Here's your reward. Heck yeah! Look, over there. That house is decked out. Wow, they must be rich. Wow. Hey, hey, what are you guys going to sing? Do we have to? Yeah, that's how it works, apparently. Okay. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Guys, you're not supposed to scream. Feliz Navidad. Prosperidad, da, 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 da. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Hands in the air or whatever. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Whoa! And that's all. That good? Oh, God. Come on, guys. You can do better than that. Give us money. This is a scam. Once you give us money, we'll leave you alone. Do you guys really want it? Do you really want to hear us sing again? You know what? Point taken. Money. Here. Now go. Thank you. This is absolutely going great. This is kind of awkward. More kids coming. Please be good. Can we sing for you too, mister? If you're singing, isn't screaming. 
Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Whoa. Are you two singers? Haha, <laughs> only when it's Christmas. You should try it year round. Well, here you go. Merry Christmas. Thank you, sir. Merry Christmas. That's a nice change of pace. Now we're off to a good start. Oh, thank God, no more dialogue for now. Woo, it's almost Christmas. Hello, any more carolers out there? Before I spend this all on video games. Just gotta wait for them from inside, I guess. Gotta be something to do around here. Use the phone. Not now. Is the phone the only option? Should I remember to buy food for Christmas dinner? Oh well, it won't be that bad, I guess. You got ramen again or whatever? The rice? I don't remember. I don't remember at this point. It's been a while. This is okay, I guess. Merry Christmas and all that. Guess I should take this out. Looks like the phone is the only option at this point. Merry Christmas. Righto, how's the... Oh, no. Guess I'll just wait for them to reply first. holidays semi-final chess games are postponed until further notice and will no longer be taking place in our stadium we are prioritizing the safety and well-being of a valued member of our community further details will be announced as they become available please stay tuned for the name date and time okay interesting ryan no chip bueno this year thanks to my mvps mom and dad Nice bucket challenge. Huh. Fake news is a problem that affects us all. We should all do our part to fight against it.
Love is love. Magic umbrella. Christmas party with the team. Happy holidays, man. Green life. Well, I wasn't expecting a reply anyway. They're probably busy. Righto definitely is, and Kathy. I hope she's alright. She always gets busy with family stuff around Christmas anyway. And if I just had a reply to her brother... Maybe she'd be in less trouble. I must be out of my mind. Merry Christmas. I hope you're having a lot of fun tonight. More than I am, definitely. Well, I'm looking for things to do around the house. Might as well be honest. Hope your night is going better. I'm sure it is. I'm sure you have a pine time. They call me the comedy king. Oh shit, did I screw up? I screwed up, didn't I? Yeah, I'm, so dis I'm sorry for disturbing your... Oh, no. I'm not gonna say anything. Okay, calm down. She's probably just busy. It's Christmas. Everyone is. Xmas homecoming. Hey son, I'm really sorry we couldn't be home this year. Things have been slow going at work, but we're making progress. We'll make it up to you next year, okay? Let me know when your mom reaches out to, to you. We love you, Mark. Merry Christmas. Hi, Dad. It's alright. I know you must be busy. Hope you get some rest this week, and yeah, I'll let you know. I love you too, Dad. Merry Christmas. He was about to say, I miss you. Hi, Mom. How have you been? Have you contacted, contacted Dad recently? Sorry that he couldn't get out of work for Christmas this year. I hope you're not overworking yourself, too. Merry Christmas, Mom. I love you. He's also about to say I miss you. Lonely on Christmas. Alright, now what? Nothing better to do. I should probably just go to my room, find something to do there. I haven't been here in a while. There's nothing else to do anyway. never did get to finish that. But at least the cleaning lady does a good job of keeping this place spotless. Just their overseas documents. Nothing interesting. Hey, it's my robot, Panasonic. Uh, man, I hope Dad still makes these in his free time. If he has free time. where dad tinkered around with his stuff like when he's thinking. 
Can't be here working quietly when mom played. Out of tune. Well, this is horribly out of tune. I wonder if I can get this fixed before mom comes home. Is that everything in this room? Hey. Plane. I I'm ready. Mom likes to make flowers. I can't wait to see this one done. This is kind of eerie. That says Panasonic will protect me from anything. Oh, there was something to look at there, but I missed it. I'm so good at the piano. Dad and I love listening to her. That's the Sopwind Camel Fighter from World War I. Its guns can fire through the propeller. It's so cool. Hey, Tornelio and Tornelio Jr. Panasonic's trusty friends guard my room around the clock. Okay, let's go back in here real quick. There was something to look at on the door. Dad works so hard. It's a good thing it's Christmas and he has free time. There we go. Now that's everything like that in this area. Dad says mom's plants make the place more lively. She named this one Jobber. Outside there's Joey, Janelle, and Jade. Yes, Mr. Dela Cruz. I'll have it by then. I guarantee it. It's... Yes, it won't be a problem. We have a tree this year. We worked on the lights. Dad worked on the lights himself. Well, Mom helped, but put it up. So is that everything in this room? There you are. Come sit. Dinner is ready. Yay, my favorite. That's right. I put extra hot dogs in just for you. Thanks, Mom. Now it's time for Noche Buena. Of course, of course. With you two, the Noche is always Buena. Oh, you. Sweet. Ready for Christmas, son? Yep. Look how good you look in the clothes I laid out for you. Yes, you look very dashing. Through the snow. Dad. Alright, alright. We should pray. I can't wait for the ham. Mark. No, not now. What? What's wrong? We were a little late to the supermarket this year. Christmas is a really busy time of year. Everyone wants their ham. Aww. So no Christmas ham? I'm sorry, son. We'll make it up to you next year, okay? That's right. Okay. That's a good sport. We'll celebrate by giving you all the hot dogs you want in your spaghetti. It's gross. Isn't that right? Of course. How does that sound, son? Good. For now, why don't you go ahead and open your gift? Uh, already? You've been such a good young man this year, Mark. You deserve it. Go open it.
just one. Apparently, the financial stuff is bad this year. It's a model plane. Whoa! This is mine? Why, of course. We love you. It's all yours, son. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Merry Christmas, Mark. Zoom. Pew, pew, pew. Oh, yeah. I know. We have to tell them sometime. We will. For now, let's just let them have this. Kind of sad. A little fighter pilot. Mr. Borgia. This is Electricida. Electricida. We hear about your electricity bill. What? I I'm sure I paid this month. Isn't it way too late at night for these guys to show up? Sir, look. This must be some mistake. Merry Christmas, Mark. Merry Christmas. Uh... Merry Christmas? Wait, wait, I'm confused. Did you happen to see a power company guy around? I was just pulling your leg, young man. The lights were out, so... I just wanted to pull a little prank. Smart. Nicole told us your parents couldn't make it home this year. So we thought we'd invite you over for our little Christmas celebration. Oh, seriously? I meant it when I said you're welcome anytime, Mark. Nicole, you, you... This wasn't my idea. They insisted. Of course. Nicole here was so worried about her student rep. Mom! We just had to have you over. Since you're such a good friend to our baby girl. Dad! I... I just thought it'd be nice to thank you for, you know, showing me around and all. Not that I needed you to, of course. So what do you say, Mark? I... yeah. I say yes. No. He's beaming. Here we are. Mark, make yourself at home, okay? We're going to go prepare for Noche Buena. Oh, uh... Thank you so much, Mrs. Laxamana. May I help you get the food ready at least? I can cook pretty well, I think. Oh, thank you, Mark, but just stay here and make yourself at home, okay? If you want to help, we rendered a video okay. Go ahead and sing us a song if you want. Oh, okay. This is, this is really nice. They really decked this place out. That's much more impressive than the one I put up. Stuttering a little bit. Look at this spread. Sweet spaghetti, barbecue sticks, buko, pandan, and fruit salad. What a feast. So that must be Jake. They must have been really close. Popular songs.
off. One, three, five, seven. I would have loved like a tutorial or something beforehand just to know like am I supposed to be holding down the green notes? myself at home. It's here now, outside. I'm I'm glad. Dinner's almost ready. Why do you even rent a video key if they're only Mark singing? You're free to sing for us, hon. And get complaints from our neighbors? I don't think so. It'll be fine, Dad. Right, Mark? Mark, how's the spaghetti? Oh, it's great, Mrs. Laxmano. You should pair it with the barbecue for that perfect flavor. Oh, I don't want to get too much. Well, why not? We didn't prepare all this for nothing, you know. Sorry, I just don't want to impose on your family Christmas and all. Oh, what nonsense. We're so happy to have you. Why, if it weren't for you, Nicole here wouldn't have started playing again. That's not... <laughs> She's one strict teacher. Oh, I'm sure. It's the best way to learn. So glad to hear it's been going well. I haven't eaten like this in years. If you don't mind me asking, Nicole mentioned your parents are overseas? Uh... It, it just came up in conversation. Y yeah. They're both working abroad. It pays the bills a lot better than before. I'm glad they're doing all they can to provide for you. They must miss you dearly. Yeah. I miss them too. A lot. Well, don't be shy about having Christmas with us. You hear? But thank you, sir. Do you celebrate like this every year? Well, we used to celebrate with my parents back home in the province. I mean, this looks... Aw, oh, I miss them. I want to visit them soon. <coughs> I told you, hon. 
the highways are open now. You can go on your own as long as you bring a friend we trust, like... Nope, I'm good here. Oh, but I thought you wanted to see your grandparents. Hun, you're happy moving here, right? Of course, Mom. Glad to hear it, hun. It's been a tough year, but you're our tough girl. That's right. You keep making our lives so much brighter, Nick. Please swallow first, Dad. But not as bright as this living room. Do we really need this many lights? Of course we do. It's our first Christmas in this house. We have to do it right. It's really beautiful. See? Mark likes it. Look who's being all polite. Mark, we really thank you. For being such a good friend to our daughter. You see, when we moved to Liamson, we really wanted a fresh start for you, Nicole. I'll admit we were worried it would be hard on you. We were. But you took it like a champ. Making new friends already. We're proud of you. It's nothing. I always had you and mom with me. And now you have Mark. I, 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 uh, I'm just happy she said yes to be my mentor, Mr. Mr. Laxmana. Oh, speaking of, won't you play for us after dinner? I'd love to hear you. Um, sure, but I'm not that. No pressure. Just don't, just please don't embarrass me in front of my parents. So much for no pressure. Oh, you guys. Come on, let's finish up and enjoy some sweet dessert. that a million times. Oh, never mind then. Oh, Mark, that was wonderful. Nicole taught you so well. Couldn't have made it this far without her. It really is impressive, dear. You're doing wonderfully. And I'm sure you're knocking out of the park on, on audition day. I sure hope so. We're all rooting for you, you know. Th that means a lot to me, ma'am. Mark, I know we've been thanking you a lot tonight. But I hope you understand. We were beginning to think she would never play again. That would have been a shame. We did everything to rekindle her passion, but nothing seemed to do the trick. Dear, I don't know what in the world you did, but you you brought her back. Well, uh, she's amazing. At the piano, I mean. And at other aspects. She is, isn't she? It's so lovely to hear these walls fill up with her music again. We could never thank you enough. I just asked for her help. That's all. Yes. And I think she needed that. Thank you so much for performing for me, Mark. It's getting late and I'm not as young as I used to be. Oh, thank you so much for having me over for dinner. Please rest well for the night, Mrs. Laxmana. You make yourself at home, okay? Like I said, we're rooting for you, too. Th thanks. Don't mention it. Good night, Mark. Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm. 
So. So. That was a lot. I liked it. Feels like the the ambiance is overshadowing the music. I still remember how we played this the first time. It was really something. Yeah, we make a good team. We should play together more, you know. Probably compose a song together too. Hold your horses, mister. You can barely play, let alone compose. But I know you can help me with that too. We can do anything. Even beat dark things. Even paint posters, even master parts, miss a dart. Yeah, we'd be partners. Um, by partners, I mean not like, um, are you ready for audition day then? I, I like to think so. I'll be checking meow out. I'll check meow out. Hey, that's mine. Good try, but Meow doesn't even sound like you. Heh <laughs> heh. You do pine. Hey, I'm just saying. But I... I want to make Mom proud. I know what you mean. I learned to play from my grandparents. They taught me everything I know. I was scared of letting them down, but... They were always just happy to see me play. You're right. You should send her a video. You know, she always loved playing. It was her biggest passion. It was too expensive a passion for her. She joined a choir as a junior pianist. It was the only way she could get her hands on a piano. She went as much as she could, practicing a lot, but... But money was hard to come by. She set aside her own goals to help her family. She had less and less time to go and practice. She had to work as much as she could. And by the time a friend had gifted her a secondhand piano, she's given up on being a professional musician for something else that pays. I'm sorry. I can't imagine what that must have been like. It's okay. She continued to play as a hobby. Eventually, her job couldn't pay the bills, so she had to keep taking on more and more until it tired her out. She tried her best to keep her passion alive, though, playing for us whenever she could, always coming to recitals and competitions to admire the music. I figured that must have been how she heard your piece at a recital or something. You, your music must have really moved her for her to have remembered it so well. I'm, I'm honored. You must have been moved too since you remember it so well. It's, it's more complicated than that. 
Mark, your father and I, we have to go to work abroad. Wh what? I'm sorry, my love. It's hard. It's so hard to leave you, but we want you to be able to follow your dreams, to live comfortably. We have to do this to provide that for you. Your father and I, we have we had big dreams, but it's hard to achieve everything you want if you don't have the means. We want to give you the means. But but mom, I know son, I know. I love you. This is my new dream. To make sure you can have yours. Will you help me achieve it? That's when she told me they had to leave. To achieve their new dream. So I can follow mine. Do you talk often? How are they doing? Dad's alright. He sent me a picture from work. He seems fine. But mom is. She's okay too. It gets pretty busy out there, you know? Yeah. I know what it's like to miss somebody too. I wish I could talk to him again. We used to get up to all sorts of mischief. I remember one day, we secretly set all the clocks in school to ring at 11, 11 a.m. We got into so much trouble for that. My grandparents had to pick us up. They were a little angry, but they also found it a little bit funny. We spent a lot of time with them together while my parents were at work. I'm sure they miss him too. You know, Jake would have said the same thing about following your dreams. He always he was always cheering me on at contests. So proud of every award. He always wanted me to go far. I just It's hard when the person who said it is gone. I really admire you, Mark. You're so persistent, never giving up. For me, it... Hey, it's okay. It worked out in the end, right? Yeah, in the end. I really never thought I would play again. My parents never gave up. They kept the piano and everything. But I was sure I was done. Until one day... I met someone so boring yet so persistent that it made me realize things. Uh, what kind of things? Come outside with me. I have to tell you something. What? What is this? Why are we here? It's beautiful out here. Y yeah. You know, Mark, when I first met you, I, I felt something. Like, like I already knew you. Like you were familiar. Huh? What is that supposed to... Remember that time when we first saw each other? Oh. I I don't know. It didn't feel like the first time. Is this what Luis was talking about? Should I ask Nicole what it was like? But I'm pretty sure that's just our weird minds. No, I shouldn't be asking anything at all. Luis told me not to, but... I, I guess all I'm trying to say is... I think we were probably meant to meet... 
I've got to tell Luis. Wait, talk, Mark. She's waiting for you to respond. Y yeah, I I felt it too. Like, you know, I already knew you or something. I'm I'm glad. Nicole, could you come here for a second? Your grandpa wants to see you. But we don't know how to do this video call thing. Ugh, the still up. Why now? I thought you wanted to see your relatives. Come on, hon. Just help me set this up. Just tap the button that looks like a camera. Which one? Oh, the camera app? Ugh. You ruined the moment, Dad. Or Mom. Luis, are you there? You were right. Nicole felt it too. Like we knew each other from before. She confirmed it. Everything is starting to glitch out. Mark, are you awake yet? Breakfast ready, sweetie. Come, while it's hot. Okay, well, I'm gonna end it there. I've been going for about two hours. I feel like that, that's good progress. That was a really sweet uh, moment between them. Um, I wonder how it's gonna develop more. Um, I feel like we're getting to uh, more of a climactic thing where something's going to happen. Maybe there was, like, a time rift or something. I don't know. It's interesting. This is getting very interesting. Especially now that we're getting closer and closer together. I wonder how the loss is going to come into play. Because the game description talks about the loss. Like, loss of friendships or connections or relationships or whatever. Just, it's talking about a lot of things. And... A lot of that hasn't come into play yet. So I wonder how it's going to come into play. So stay tuned for the next part. I'll probably get back to this tomorrow. If I have the time, I probably will have the time. And we'll go from there. But in the meantime, thank you everyone for watching. I'm not good with outros, so I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.